Today was the final day for the king tide until next month. But the tide will still be very high and very low over the next couple of days. That means it's a great time to check out tide pools all along the coast during low tides. CBS 8's Anna Laurel went to the La Jolla tide pools tonight to see them for himself. Exploring tide pools right now is the best time because it's king tide. That means that the low tide is extremely low, so you could see animals, sea life that you might not ever see otherwise. <laughs> right now, because of the king tide and extreme low tides, people are finding all kinds of things in tide pools, typically covered by water. There was a starfish earlier that we saw, so that was really cool. And then another girl found an octopus. Do you see the lobster hiding in this pool's rock? He's looking right at you. It's a fantastic way for people to connect to the ocean, as you can see. I don't know what kind of fish it is. It's like a treasure hunt. What do you hope you find? A crab. A crab? I want to find a fish. A fish. Octopus. And they just might. The time to go is one hour before and one hour after the listed low tide. Bring a flashlight. You want to see the colors in the water, like this bat star. Cool. To see bat stars are cool. Um, we don't see as many here in the tide pools. This is kind of cool to see in the tide pools. Little. Yeah. And you can see him, he's actually crawling. Check out the neon colors of this sea snail. The Spanish shawl nudibranch. How do you know that? I'm a marine biology student. Oh. We lucked out meeting Nicole Schreiber. She explained, go out closer to the water to see the open sea anemones, crabs, and even octopus. Whoa, I see him. Look into the deeper tide pools. That's where we spotted this starfish. This is another type of nudibranch. These are called Hopkins Rose nudibranchs, but they're this gorgeous pink color, and they get that because of their diet. You do have to be careful, though. It's important to watch your step um, as best as you can. Uh, the tide pools are teeming with life. You don't want to crush a mussel shell or sea anemone. And Matthew Arrolado with Birch Aquarium says, okay. touch marine life as gently as you would your own eyeball. He says Falls Point and Dyke Rock and La Jolla are his favorite tide pools. We listed several more with this story on CBS8.com. How's the water feel? Is it cold? Uh -huh. These really low tides will stick around a couple more days and then dip again for the next King Tide event, February 9th and 10th. In La Jolla, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.